it's Cara and this is the next part of my video blog about my experiences of being a very new mum and how I am showing up and committing to really living the laws of damsels which I've talked about before I've talked about the impact that damsels has had on my life in my businesses and when I was when I was pregnant how I knew I wanted to stay accountable and this this video blog diary was a way for me to do that. So it was actually in this park uh, that I was having a conversation with with my boyfriend. We had taken we Arthur out for a walk uh, in his pram. We were walking around this this gorgeous park, and um, I was saying I was talking about what had happened the day before, and I'd been in town with Arthur for an appointment. Uh, we had been there, like me and him, I just pram all his stuff. Um, and then after the appointment, he was asleep in his pram, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and have a coffee. Um, so I walked up to this coffee shop with him in his pram, and I got to the door, and I, th I had this moment where I thought, oh, it looks really busy. It doesn't look very baby friendly. It looks like it's gonna be difficult to get in there with a the pram. And I thought it, he might wake up and want to eat, and if he does, is this the kind of place that I can feed him in public? So all of this was going on and I, and, I, and I went to walk past and I stopped myself and I thought, no, I'm going in. And um, I, was ex we were talking, I was explaining this to, to my boyfriend and we were talking about it and I was saying, it's really important to me that at all times, Arthur knows that he enriches our lives and that he doesn't stop us from doing anything. And even though it was a very small thing in the grand scheme of it, going into a coffee shop or not, it actually felt like a big win going in and doing it. And I went in and I had a great, had a great, had a great experience because the staff were really helpful. Um, Arthur stayed asleep the whole time. He was happy, you know, and content in there. And I got to chill out for a bit. And this is really, really important to me. When I was growing up, my mum did an amazing job bring up me and my sister as a lover to bits and, and I can't fault her. However, I was very aware of what she could and couldn't do because of having us. And I grew up knowing that and being very aware of it. Um, and it had, did have an impact on me. So, um, yeah, my boyfriend and I were talking about this and we were saying, you know, we, we that's, that's not how it's going to be for us. And we very much um, want to do everything we can um, as, 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 you know, as is you know our purpose in life and that Arthur should always feel like he enriches our lives so I th this is really important to me about the law of authenticity and I was just wondering what your experience was and and has being a part of damsels has that had an impact for you um, have you noticed that you've made changes to to really show up and and be you in all in all in all walks of your life and um, yeah, I'd love to know your experiences of this. And for me, as I say, I'm really, really committing to being authentic and being comfortable with who I am and doing everything that I want to do and, 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 and including Arthur in that so that that has an impact on him. And he always feels that he can shine his light brightly and that he doesn't have to um, make himself small or not do things because of other people. So yeah, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that. And um, I'll look forward to, yeah, to hearing from you. Take care. Bye for now.